Hi everyone, I am Ms. Macedo. Welcome to our lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about point of view. Are you ready? Let's get started. Point of view. Who is telling this story? Who is narrating? This is what point of view is about. Point of view. All about the narrator. Point of view is only referring to the narrator's point of view. Narrator is the person telling the story. You can only look at the narration to determine POV. POV stands for point of view. Words in dialogue don't count. Three points of view. First person, second person, and third person. Let's start by looking at first person POV, me. The narrator is a character in the story. They are a part of the action. The narrator will use words like I, me, my, us, ours, we. When you see this pronouns in the narration, it means that it is a first person POV. First person POV. The narrator is in the story and refers to him herself. Narrator will use words like I, me, we, us, our, my. Because the narrator is a character in the story. First person POV. You are going to focus on the pronouns by highlighting them. This is one way that you can do it. Finding these pronouns in the narration indicates first person point of view. So these are the pronouns. I, me, my, mine, we, us, our, ours. First person pronouns. I am going to read now an example of first person POV in a narration. So this is an excerpt, excerpt from a story. If you are reading this because you think you might be one, my advice is close this book right now. Believe whatever lie your mom or dad told you about your birth and try to lead a normal life. My name is Percy Jackson. I am 12 years old. Until a few months ago, I was boarding student at Yancey Academy, a private school for troubled kids in upstate New York. Am I a troubled kid? Yeah, you could say that. So this, is an, this narration is an example of first-person POV, and you can see that because it, the narrator uses the pronoun my. So you can see here my in bold, my, my advice, my name, I am 12 years old. So I can see that this is a first person POV. Now, let's take a look at second person POV. The narrator directly addresses the reader. They make you a part of the story. The narrator will use words like you, yours, your. Second person. Second person POV. The second person is almost never used in literature. The second person is when the narrator says you and puts the reader directly into the story. Second person POV. Focus in. So this is what you're going to focus in on the pronouns by highlighting them. This is one way that you can do it. Finding these pronouns in the narration indicates second person point of view. You, your, yourself. These are second person pronouns. Note, remember, second person is rarely used. Let's look at one example of second person POV. There is darkness everywhere. A small amount of light is radiating from the half moon floating 
in the sky overhead. There are no stars. It is cold and humid. You look around you and find your friends gone. You are completely alone. So this is an example of second person POV. And you know this because you can see the you here. The narrator uses the pronouns you, as you can see here in bold. So the narrator included you, included the reader in the story. Now, let's look at third person POV. The narrator is not a character in the story. They are removed from the action. The narrator will use words like he, she, they, them, him, her, their. Third person POV. The narrator is telling a story about other people. Narrator will use words like he, she, him, her, they, them, their, and character's name. Third person POV. So this is what you're going to focus in on the pronouns by highlighting them. This highlight is one strategy, is one way that you can do it. Finding these pronouns in the narration indicates third person point of view. He, him, his. She, her, they, their, them. These are third person pronouns. Now, when we talk about third person, there are three types of third person narrators, omniscient, limited, and objective. And today, we are not going to focus on all of them, and we are going to review the pronouns. So, first person uses the following pronouns in the narration, I, me, my, we, us, our. Let's look at one example. So we are going to look at them and then you are going to do an activity. I had trouble sleeping that night because I was so thrilled about our plans for the next day. I tossed and turned in my bed all night as I thought about the roller coasters I would ride when we arrived at the amusement park. I just could not contain my excitement. So this is an example of first person POV. And you can see the I, the, the first person pronouns in red in this story. Now we are going to look at an example of a second person point of view in our review. It uses the following pronouns in the narration. You, your. You woke up tired. You had trouble sleeping that night because you were so thrilled about your plans for the next day. So this is an example of second person POV. And you can see because the author used you and your, as you can see here in red. Now, let's look at the third person POV in our review before we start your activity. Third person uses the following pronouns in the narration. He, she, his, her, him, they, their, them. Example, Brian had trouble sleeping that night because he was so thrilled about his plans for the next day. So this is an example of third person POV and you can see this because the author is Brian, so it's the person's name, and he and his. So he's using third person pronouns. Now it is your turn to check if you learned. So let's practice. What is the point of view? So I'm going to read a little bit, pay attention, and look at the pronouns that are highlighted, and you are going to Tell someone next to you if this is a first person, second person, 
or third person point of view. Millie purred with contentment. She loved nothing more to be held in the arms of her friend Molly. Millie had been a member of the O'Leary family before Molly was even born. Millie knew that some people thought of her as just a cat, but Millie knew that she was much more than that to Molly. Millie knew that Molly loved her dearly. So let's look at the words highlighted. She, her, her, she, her. Now I want you to pause this video and show someone next to you and tell them what's the point of view in this story. Okay, pause the video. Okay, now we are back. So what's the POV? I am going to read this and you are going to choose one of the answers and you are going to choose the correct answer. I went to the store today. The clerk said hi. We bought candy and left. So, is this a first person POV, a second person POV, or a third person POV? Look at the pronouns that are in white here. I and we. Pause the video and choose the correct answer. So let's look at one more. What's the point of view? You stayed up late last night and now you are tired, but you need to pass this class. So look at the pronouns that are in red. You, is this an example of first person? B, second person? C, third person? Pause this video and choose the correct answer. And you can point to the correct answer or show someone next to you. And now we are going to look at the last question. What's the POV? Chris loved basketball. Every day he played after school. When it got dark, he watched it on TV. Is this an example of first person, second person, or third person POV? Look at the words that are highlighted. Chris and he in white. They are actually in white. So is this an example of first person, second person, or third person POV? Pause this video and choose the correct answer. Today we learned about point of view and we learned about first person point of view, second person point of view, and third person point of view. Thanks for watching this video.